What have you done? Got him. Let's go. <laughs> the manager came out. She's like, ah, you're getting scammed. You you saw the title. This is a lot of money. Houston just bought a car to gas I, no, station? No, I, I don't know, That's dude. That's crazy. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do like a PPI or something. That just changed up our county <laughs> trip, huh? Damn, that's crazy. Just the person that I wanted to see. Look at this place. Business is booming. We got cars on cars. How are you doing? I'm doing great until you got here. I brought the whole crew. See, they're all trying to work yeah, together. Got the whole family. Look at this. Oh, man. You got all the waste gates done, all the mounts all done. And so we're going to scan all that stuff once we break it all down. I'll just take the raw kit like this. You know? I don't even need all well, the fancy I'm parts. I'm just walking up a stainless steel exhaust for this one because he's going to get titanium. So, I mean, I think for you to be fine. Yeah, but I want that real, I need to get that real thin pipe. You know, I want the exhaust like this big. Yeah, those are dope, dude, honestly. I don't even know if these will fit in the fender liners. It's so tight back there. Have you put them on? I don't have the rear liners because we cut them for this car in a rear bumper list for a while. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Are they the same as other cars? The uh, the STO? No, they're different. <laughs> makes this look more elegant. All the other kits are like at an angle. They're at an angle, it's and, different, yeah. And then you see those, you know, weld lines yeah. in there. So I just this really one, don't like, like that. This, these tanks were actually designed for a G40 kit, and we modified them, that's why you can see, like, kind yeah, of so lose more. a little bit of the buildingness, you know? So we modified them to fit the G45s. So this one, motor's fully done. Uh, gearbox is fully done? Fully done. Yeah, it has the same serial number as my gearbox. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You're such a clown. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just trying to finish up the exhaust. We're hoping to get in the dyno last weekend, but you know, so many things pop up and things happen. So this this gearbox here has what clutches? Just a 10 plate for right now. So I have nines in mind. This is why I'm trying to pick up my gearbox today. So I can send it back to Dotson. They're doing a really big favor for me right now, and they're gonna put in the new billet gears in the gearbox because they, they originally gave me the two-piece billet gears. Which was their very first design, yeah. Yeah, my goal on the STO is to have a power level above 2200, and that clutch is a 12, 11 plate. Yeah. So where are you putting this one here? I mean, we're gonna take this one at 2200, but will that clutch live at 10, at a 10 plate? Probably not, it's probably gonna have to get upgraded. Have you driven this like. at 10 plates? Yeah. What, does it drive any different than? Uh, a little bit down low, but for the most part, it's pretty much almost really close to stock. Kalai? Nope. Two a days. Two a days? 500 pounds. Put One hand or two? You guys can lift that? Yeah, easy. Uh, I doubt it. We, we can, can take the cart out and roll it, right? Yeah, and then. Yeah, yeah. That's easy. Cube. Houston could me pick and, that up yeah. right me now. Me and Chance got that oh, and yeah. that's, that's two easy. shakes. Yeah, that's yeah. easy. <laughs> that's without pre workout. That's without pre workout. That's right. Yeah, pick it up from the back over there. You you're stronger than me. That boy been hitting the gym. Okay, Kyle and I have a plan to get the STO done in T minus eight weeks. Now, I have to send my gearbox out to Dotson. So that's why I went and picked it up. I picked up a couple pieces because I'm gonna have them all um, prepped and ready to go. I wanna bring the STO back to Kyle for the turbo K installation, which he basically, as you can see on the other STO, he is almost 95% done with that new turbo kit. That's the turbo kit that's gonna take the STO over the 2000 horsepower mark, and it's gonna be a very, very extreme experience. Now, the last time I was at CFI, I drove that same STO when it had about 15, 1600 horsepower rear wheel drive, but I mean, it was on soft tire, and. It was, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was hard to use. So the maximum potential of that car is when it's all wheel drive. So I'm gonna have my all wheel drive system put in and uh, all of that's gonna get ready to roll as well. So I'm gonna basically bring the STO back to Kyle fully ready to have a turbo kit installed so that he can get that done in record time. Put the Cyvex on it, throw it on the dyno and we are just gonna get this thing pushing. I'm, I'm just... We're so close. I moved the STO to the house and I just look at it every day and it's just driving me crazy. So I really want to have this car on the street. I've, I've promised you guys this even fire crankshaft since 2017. I mean, me and Taylor from Dallas Performance built this crankshaft and we had it made. Steve Morris finished it. Sounds amazing. My motor's already been on the dyno. It's just, there's so many 
with the pandemic and with all the bullshit that happened, with everything here and there, all the little pieces and part delays. We're just at this point to where these projects aren't getting fulfilled because I'm building new things and I'm just going back and my main goal for the next three months prior to Monterey Car Week is to get every single car ready to go period done i want all of my projects done now the savage mercy is going to be the next one and that one's not going to be done in monterey car week but every other little detail like all my old gallardos my yellow one that's in there i told kyle i was like dude like we got to stop ignoring this car we got to get it running we got to get it going it literally just has to have the parts put back on it it's probably three days worth of work and i just i beg him just to finish that so you know we'll see how that goes right now i'm gonna go uh take the kids to lunch we're gonna get some stuff and then we're gonna just we're just gonna reminisce Are you filming? Yeah. Why, why, why are you, we're just looking. We're not car spotters. Jesus Christ. How do you not film that though? <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's just a. It, I'm I, okay. Well, I, I should say this. I was gonna say it's just a regular CGT, but I actually think it's a. It's kind of an interesting one. Here, let me see. I think it's this one. Ooh. It has to be that car. What? It has so to be that car. Hold on. Look. 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 It's this car. No way. I Look at the headlight. Fuck yeah. See, I told what? you. What? Exactly. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is very interesting. I don't know when this was, like 2023. Look at this. I was the high bidder on this car. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, the, it's $600,000 high bid. I was the high bidder on that car. So, Crazy. that's your car? Well, I didn't win because I didn't meet the reserve. Oh, and the shit. cars and bids, they connected us. And, uh, I mean, he just wanted too much. I wonder, I mean, honestly, I'm going to go, go, go talk to him. I'm going to go talk to him right now. I'm going to see if we can buy this fucking car. <laughs> Money talks. <laughs> On the spot. I'm not, am I going to be the guy at the gas station that just like goes and just harasses the car? That's so funny. He's like, man, I'm just trying to fill up. Bro, this is so sick. I. I know this is going to sound like ridiculous, but this car was on cars and bids like yeah. a year ago. Right. I told you. <laughs> I was actually the high bidder on this car. Oh, nice. Hey, hold on. I mean, you know, that's a, <laughs> I mean, you were selling it for a reason, right? Yeah. Oh man. It actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it was in the pictures. So what's the plan? Are you like, are you still, still selling it? I'm still selling it. So maybe six months ago, I asked cars and bids if they would connect me with you yeah. or whoever uh, you own this car yeah yeah so i asked them to connect us and they're like oh well we can't connect you because we only do it during an active transaction i'm like what do you mean dude i was the bitter winner yeah and i was like maybe he wants to sell it now you know what i mean mm -hmm. like who knows um do you want to sell still, it still for sale it was close dude that, I, I, <laughs> told you. are you serious yeah I'll be right back. <laughs> so you're gonna buy it? I don't know. I'm gonna check and see if I have enough money to buy it. <laughs> I gotta look real quick. Oh, like, can you ask him if there's a Chase Bank close? Yeah, yeah, I'll ask him. I yeah. mean, we came here to buy a fucking car. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For you. You know if there's yeah. a Chase Bank around here by chance? Uh, yeah, not that far down the street. Down the maybe, street? Maybe half a mile. I'm sure they're open. Today's <laughs> Monday. Down the street. Dude, I guess. Okay, so let's just say we make a deal. Yeah. Has anything changed? Huh? Same as the listing. Same miles, same everything. Yeah, I mean, much. maybe 100 miles difference. What are the odds? I, I don't. I honestly don't know, dude. Like, I, I've, I've never, uh, I never bought a car at a gas pump before. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Am I really gonna buy this car at a gas station? Literally right now? Maybe we should do a little bit of research before we make this insanely expensive purchase. I'm gonna get out my phone right now and check the car vertical app and see the vehicle's history report before we walk into the bank and make this deal happen. So I know that this car has a rebuilt title, but let's just get a little bit more data about that. There's a couple of pictures on the car vertical report of the car as it sits right now. Now it looks like in 2009, the car had a full payout from an insurance company for a total loss. Now. In 2009, a Porsche Carrera GT was worth like $175,000. So they wouldn't take that much damage for an insurance company to make that decision. Today, they're multi-million dollar cars. So it would have to be inebriated for it to be totaled today. But 
I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with this data here too. So it looks like it was fixed in 2011 and it's been on the road since then. Now the accident happened uh, with 4,327 miles. Today we have 8,713 miles as the odometer says right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete the purchase of this car based on the car vertical report I have here in my hand. I wanna thank Car Vertical for supplying me with all of the information I needed to make this deal happen on the fly at the gas station. <laughs> what a great experience that was. So before we get back to today's video, everybody check out the pinned comment below for a link to Car Vertical's website where you can use my promo code HC for 20% off. So <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess, dude. I mean, uh, yeah, I fuck. I'll, I'll buy it, dude. Like, we really? have a deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you have the title, obviously, right? Yeah. I mean, like, available? Like, yeah. you, live close to here? you go to the bank, I'll go get a title. We'll meet up. Okay. Well, let me get your number. Sure. You said just bought a car at a gas no, no, station? I, I don't know, That's dude. That's crazy. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do like a PPI or something. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh Callie and Denny's. Right. Literally. Who would have thought? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It takes a few min minutes for me to go to the bank and get a check. I mean, yeah. Do you want to maybe like... 30 minutes? Yeah. Or, minutes, do you hour. want to meet back here? Uh, or I somewhere else? Chase. Okay. Uh, that way. Yeah. Okay. Can't miss it. It. Let's go. Alright. Bro, you just bought a car? I, I mean, dude, apparently. <laughs> I thought we were car shopping for this, man. <laughs> I thought, me too, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I want to look at the listing. I got to remind myself what this was. This <laughs> good deal. Okay, let me think about this. Like, what do I have to pay for anything else? That's like destiny, ain't it? I literally don't know. I don't know, dude, I guess. Fuck. I mean, we were about to roll back. Why not, right? I mean, you might be whipping that thing on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is really going to happen. Um, I want that car. This is nuts, dude. Man, that car is sick. This is nuts. Uh, just get, turn the camera off. Give me a second. Like I need to, I need think to like. About this. I need think to like make. A, I, let me call my wife and just make sure that I don't have like some dumb shit to pay for. <laughs> Chase is still open. Literally like a mile away <laughs> from right, the yeah, gas station. I'm, like, uh, I'm that's destiny. Into the bank right it's now. fate right now. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, bye. Yeah, I just called him. He's uh, it, he's legit. He sent me a picture of the title. So on the camera, <laughs> I probably see in like thirty seconds, but. In reality, it was real. What have you done? Got him. Go. <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I feel like I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, like, and now, like, fuck, man. I guess, uh, Chance, you're you're gonna be, uh, I don't know, dude. You're gonna be driving the truck home. I guess I'll drive that. You, <laughs> boy, you boys getting the CGT? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I don't know, dude. I don't know what we're gonna do. We, we have we literally have to figure it out after I, I go and buy this new car. I was reading on uh, at the bank because there was kind of a line, and the lady's like, she was hella mad that we you walked in there with the camera. Oh, she was no. about to kill me. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. I know we're not supposed to film in the banks. I'm so sorry. It just we're just doing this crazy thing right now. I'm literally buying a car at the gas station. She's like, she did not want to give me this check. She's like, you're getting scammed. She told me. She's like, the manager came out. She's like, ah, you're getting scammed. You you saw the title. This is a lot of money. I'm like, trust me. I know it's a lot of money. I'm definitely not getting scammed. Well, we hope not. <laughs> I hope I'm not getting scammed. But I remember a year ago talking with this guy Chris I've never met him but I remember talking to him as long as the title's here and that shit signed your car whatever dude it's my fucking car <laughs> yep. don't matter so I don't know I guess we go home to Vegas right now <laughs> Getting off to get something to fucking eat, dude. <laughs> Damn, oh my goodness. A uh, mobile gas station. <laughs> okay, like, I, I need to check the title, so like, don't get up in my face. I don't want this guy to like... He's I, like, who are you guys? What are you doing? He's gonna want to see the check first. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is so tough. <laughs> easy peasy. Oh my god. All right, check right there.
Well, that just changed up our Cali <laughs> trip, huh? Damn, that's crazy. Came here with one, leave it with two. Only had a mobile and a uh, Deddy's. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, is this for real? Bro, you just bought a car at a gas station. <laughs> what the? This is, no, this is. That's a deal. <laughs> that's your car. <laughs> I, didn't even, I gotta check the van, oh my god. This is the... 2005, let me just see the van. Re read me off the van over there. Yeah. 001561. All right. Yeah. Now what? All right. Um, Chris has told me that he was, uh, he's got someone coming to pick him up. So um, I guess he's going to leave. And then um, we are going to drive this CGT. Can we even make sure it runs? Dude, I, I mean, literally, what? I mean, he drove to, he was already driving it. It's not like he was like, oh, whatever. Um, it's a little different from driving from the house to the gas know, station. But like his guy. intention was yeah. to drive it around and get gas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it obviously works, right? I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go drive this car. So you want to jump in, Chance, real quick? Let's and go. Uh, like. Let's see what it's about. Let's see if it works. Let's go. How do you even open this? It's all the way in. Oh, there we go. Dude, what? Houston, you're driving this back to Vegas? There's no way. I guess. Okay, so check this out. Um, on a good note, uh, we bought the car with the full tank of gas because he was hey, he had already go. put gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> no Literally, way. Three minutes ago, we were in a different car. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I'm like sweating, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What did we just do? I wonder, I don't even know if I got a good deal in this car, dude. Okay, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I I'm don't just even gonna, know where we are, dude. Where, me where neither. Are we, where are we? I'm literally just gonna go out and go to the right. And just hope for the best. Drives, we're moving. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is so dumb. Talk about impulse. <laughs> I think we just made the king, the king of the road impulse decision. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not usually this uh, quiet in a brand new CGT to me. But uh, I think I might have just spent the rent money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A lot has happened in three minutes. A lot has happened in the past five. We've got to go do some donuts or something. <laughs> I mean, might as well. It's only fitting.